Hi guys, this is Twiggy. Welcome to another unboxing video of our X-Tool F1 slide extension. Now let's take a look of what's inside this box. Slide extension, movable ruler, material clamps 1, material clamps 2, USB cable, screwdriver, user manual. This is one of the accessories, movable ruler, which functions as a tool to position the laser beams and the objects. You can move this ruler around according to the lens of your objects. This is material clamps 1, and this is material clamps 2. They both function as tools to fix the material. Here's how you can use material clamps 1. Slide into the X-rail, lifting up the fixer, fix it to the corner of your material. When processing larger material, the material clamps 1 take up minimal space because we'll slide into the rails on the side of slide extension. Here's material clamps 2, as you can see right here. It can be clamped into the cutting panel, and you can also lift the fixer up to fix the edges of the material. Now let's follow the laser calibration guide on x tool Creative Space for slide extension installation. Use the cable to connect our F1 with slide extension. Make sure to first switch the mode to laser extension. Now follow the calibration guide strictly before using the slide extension. Head to go. Align the right edges of the movable ruler with scale 0 of the slide extension. Tighten the screw. Align the vertical line of the side of the slide extension with the edge of the removable base plate of X-Tool F1 and align the side of the slide extension with the second line on the base plate. Move the ruler to the working area. Turn the knob to set the laser focus. Tighten screws on the left and right side, but do not tighten them fully. Move the slide extension to left or right slightly to align the laser with the middle of the movable ruler. Tighten the left screw, click next, then the slide extension move to the left automatically. Tighten the right screw, click complete to complete the calibration. We have completed the installation of our X-Tool slide extension. Now let's take a look of what this accessory can do for you. Let me use this photo paper to do a project to show you how X-Tool F1 slide extension can both engrave and cut on larger materials. Put the photo papers on the slide extension. Use the material clamp to fix the material. Open project, set the parameters. First, you want to make sure you choose the infrared laser. The dot duration is at 100 and the power round at 90% and choose one pass. We're going to set the DPI at 400 and make sure you invert the image. There are two types of way of framing. First is the rectangular framing. Second is the outline. For here, we're going to choose the rectangular framing. Now let's do the framing. And hit OK. Stop framing. And now we're going to start the project. Hit start on here. And hit start on the top right. Once you hear that beeping sound, you can press the start button on X-Tool F1. Let me show you how to use the metal business card to batch producing project. You can see the coordinates on the canvas as same as the scale of the slide extension. Open the file. You can use the scale on the canvas for you to reference the position of your object on the slide extension. For example, the first object, the scale on the X row is from 10 to 100. And the second one is from 110 to 200. And third one is from 210 to 300. And fourth one is from 310 to 400. And you can adjust the other object accordingly. Now, let's set the parameters. Make sure to choose infrared laser. We're gonna run this at 100% power at 160 millimeters per second in one pass. Now, let's do the framing. 
There are two type of way of framing. First is the rectangular framing and the second is the outline framing. And for this one, we're going to choose the outline framing and hit the framing. There we go. As you can see, the framing is already on the object. All right, that looks good. Now let's hit OK and stop framing. And now let's start the project. Hit the start on the bottom right and hit start on the top right. Once you hit that beeping sound, you can press the button on our X tool F1. And that's all for today's unboxing video of our X-Tool F1 slide extension. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao!